In 1888, the brutal murders of five women in the East End of London left the city terrified and the law enforcement agencies scratching their heads. For years, historians and scientists have tried to study the identity and murder motives of the infamous Jack the Ripper, one of the most ruthless killers in history. But last week, an author and self-proclaimed ripperologist has claimed to have solved the long-standing mystery with a 100% DNA match. Hi, my name is Soumya Pele and you're watching Pure Science. Ripperologist Russell Edwards has claimed that the DNA evidence from a shawl belonging to one of the victims, Catherine Edos, contained the DNA of the killer, which has now had a 100% match with a Polish barber named Aaron Kosminski, who had moved to the UK in the 1880s. Interestingly, he was one of the suspects at the time of the murders, but the police back then did not have enough proof against him to convict him. According to Edwards, the shawl had two significant DNA samples. One was the blood which was traced to a female descendant of Edo's, and the other was a semen sample that was confirmed to be of Kosminski. Edwards' legal team is now working to move a legal inquest, taking into account the new evidence to close this cold case by putting the name of the killer in the public domain. But this is not the first time a DNA analysis has been pitched as evidence disclosing Jack the Ripper's identity. The saga began in 2007 when Edwards bought a shawl in an auction. He gave the shawl to Yari Luhilainen, a biochemist at Liverpool John Moores University in the UK, to test the piece of cloth for any DNA evidence that could be worked to crack the age-old case. And it proved to be successful. That's what was believed at least. Based on Luhilainen's findings, Edwards even went on to write a book called Naming Jack the Ripper, revealing the murderer's identity for the first time. In 2019, the biochemist published a research paper in the Journal of Forensic Sciences, backing Edwards' claim with his scientific work. But this paper's findings have been merged in controversy. Apart from critics doubting the credibility and possibility of sample contamination, the publishers also withdrew the paper, citing concerns regarding the authenticity of the methodology followed. In an expression of concern, the editor-in-chief of the journal said that they made an effort to obtain the original raw data of the empty DNA analysis from the authors. However, the author stated that the data was no longer available due to instrument data failure and other complications. Further investigations concluded that because it was impossible to examine the original data, the conclusions made in the paper basically stood unfounded. Another major issue with the findings of this study is that mitochondrial DNA testing or mtDNA was used to identify Aaron Kosminski as the killer. However, this type of genetic marker, which can only be passed on through maternal lineage, is not a unique identifier. While mtDNA testing can be used to eliminate suspects, it cannot implicate them. Even generally, mtDNA analysis does not provide definitive identification, runs the risk of heteroplasmy, which means that there is presence of more than one type of mitochondrial DNA in a cell tissue or individual, risks contamination and paternal leakage. Scientists have also accused Luhilainen and Edwards of a confirmation bias, which seems to have forced them to work backwards in the case to use ambiguous information only to back their theories. We have spoken about the latest discussion, but let's go over what the Jack Ripper case was and why it has kept people interested in it for decades. Over 100 years ago, between August and November 1888, 
the Whitechapel area in London became the crime scene for five brutal murders. Now, some accounts say that the number is six, but the death of the sixth victim did not match the common traits of all the other murders by the killers. So, we are going by the official count of five. The victims were all women and four of them, except Elizabeth Stride, were prostitutes, which made them easy targets. Historical accounts say that the bodies were horribly mutilated when the police found them. There have been a lot of speculations over the identity of the killer. Some have suggested that the killer could be a surgeon or a butcher because of the precision with which the mutilations happened. Experts have also gone on to say that the way the weapons were used and the knowledge that the killer seemed to have of the human anatomy also seems to suggest that it was someone with a certain degree of knowledge base. So it seems like the groundbreaking reveal of the Jack the Ripper's identity is not as groundbreaking as it is being portrayed. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Soumya Pele and this was Pure Science. Thank you.